Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com and our series on gingerbread running on the Nexus S. Today we're taking a hardware tour of the Nexus S. This is the flagship phone, the flagship Android phone for Google. You can see here we have a nice uh, bright 4-inch AMOLED display. It's a super AMOLED display. Along the bottom here we have uh, four capacitive touch buttons. We have a back button, a contextual menu button, a search button, and a home button. At any time we can hit the home button to come back to our home screen, uh, back to go back to the previous um, item that we were looking at. We can touch the uh, context sensitive menu here to bring up in-app settings. And at any time we can hit the search key and we'll bring up a, uh, a Google search. Now if we look up here, the earpiece is uh, just in here. Just to the right of that we have a VGA camera, so that's 640 by 480 resolution. That'll be used for uh, video calls, although there are currently no apps um, that actually use the front, uh, the front camera except for the, uh, the actual camera application, which we'll touch on in a later episode. Up here we have a proximity and light sensor. We take a look on the back of the phone. Now this is uh, a plastic base, but it, is, um, it, it does have a very nice hand feel. Down here we can see a uh, slight contour that, like I said, really does add to the hand feel. Um, this is in contrast to the previous generation Google phone, the Nexus One, which has a nice uh, metallic um, surround. This one is actually all plastic. We see here a 5 megapixel camera with uh, side by uh, single LED flash, and our speaker grill is hiding right here. Take a look on the other side of the device, we have uh, one button, this is the power button, that allows us to, um, if we hold it, we can power down the phone, if we just uh, press it once, we can turn the screen on and off. Take a look at the other side of the device, we have a volume rocker here, pretty standard stuff. On the top, which is where we usually find our power button, and um, on most phones is where we find our headphone jack as well, we don't have actually anything, all we have is a little tab that allows us to access the battery, which we can pull off like that. On the bottom, that's where we'll find our micro B USB charging port down here, as well as our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's a three-stage jack, which allows us to use an inline mic as well. Now, one of the things that was being hyped about this phone is actually the curved screen, which we can see if I pick up the phone like this. You can see it does have a slight curve to it. And that makes it, uh, it has a, like I said, a, a really nice hand feel, and also um, kind of feels like it's cradling on your face when you're actually on the phone. If we take the battery back off here. You can see we do actually have access to a removable battery, so we can uh, buy an extra battery or replace this battery if it uh, starts to lose its capacity. However, um, there is no expandable storage in this phone. There's 16 gigs of storage built in. Uh, previous um, generation Android phones would actually allow you to include a micro SD card. Uh, we can't do that here. So basically, 16 gigs is your only option, and uh, that's all you're getting, and you're not going to be able to expand it. For full show notes on this episode and to see other parts in this series, be sure to hit up butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching.